UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Uppercut attempt nearly connects, but no good. Over and over, he's landed with big body kicks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Hook shot lands. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just unable to quite find that range. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Just out of range with the big right hand. And he gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. He blocks the punch. Lee gets caught by the straight punch. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. 30 seconds now to go in round one. 20 seconds left. And there comes the separation now. Big left hook coming, it's flat. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Big kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch lands through the middle. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Oh, oh, let me see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go 
chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. This is a great fight. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh! Oh! That head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. He got him. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that... Oh, oh he might be out! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Just missed on that spinning attack. Try to establish that jab. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice right hand. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Penne's hook to the body there is blocked. Shot looked pretty good, but ultimately the defense was there. Final seconds here. Visibly limping here. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary. <laughs> What a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Right hand punch from the clinch. Huge knee lands from in close. Wow. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Beautiful punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Penne's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent and tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Back and forth we go here! Oh. Oh. Serve him up. 
Gogino. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, it looks as though his leg, you can even see him limping a little bit. Nice counter left hook. Working out of that southpaw stance. Time winding down, final seconds of the fight. The final horn sounds. All right, so the fight goes the distance. Both guys had their moments, but there was a striking advantage, albeit slight, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get his hand raised tonight. It should be enough. I mean, when you watch the fight, you understand that you are watching two of the best mixed martial artists in the world. But it did look like he did just enough to earn a competitive decision. Official decision now in. The buff has it.